All right, somehow we've managed to do this show for a whole year. Well, we did is geek this... nights for like 15 years in a row. But this is, yeah, this is more work. <laughs> this is a lot more work, guys. We did, this is, I guess this is the fourth episode, right? Did we start with fall? I think it is. Yeah. It's not, if it's not, not counting the ones we did at conventions before we made this a show. Yeah, I feel like it's the fourth show. It might be the third show and it might be sounding like a dumbass right now. I think it's the fourth one. Yeah, anyway. It's the tenth one. This it's the hundredth one. This is Judge Anime. Hundredth its, episode review. <laughs> this is Judge Anime by its cover for fall 2018 season, I guess. Uh, you know, this, Did, this new anime is coming out because it's, it's a new season of weather. And we are going to look at those animes on the wonderful website. Uh, Annie Chart, which I think its URL is now like... It's up there somewhere. It's like analyst.co is the actual <laughs> website, but um, they list all the new animes, movies, TV shows, OEVs that are coming out every season, so you can go to one place and see what new shows there are without having to browse around and get all confused. Uh, and we are only looking at the TV series, the new TV series, yep. uh, not the continuing ones, and I don't think they list like the super long, infinite running ones. Uh, like Sazai san or whatever, <laughs> that's still going, the, the Simpsons of Japan or whatever. Um, and we look at the description and imagery that is available to us uh, on this website, and we judge whether that anime is going to be worth watching based on that minimal information. We get a lot of things wrong. We also get a shocking number of things right, which is why... Like, the few, the anime that we miss out on and we think are going to be bad that are actually good are so rare that someone on the internet tells us and we know to watch it. That's right. Okay, so first, let's talk about the animes from the summer season that we actually watched after judging them. I watched a bunch of Tonegawa Middle Management. Right. I got like 10 episodes deep that. Into was that was one that we were hype on. Uh, and it was it was okay, but it yeah. wasn't. I don't think it lived up to the hype that I judged. So I think it was only a slight misjudgment. Yeah, well, partly because it really relies on. Well, it's weird because it's based on like Akagi, like that world. Kaiji. But, yeah, the the Kaiji thing, and it's like it relies on knowing about that, but simultaneously goes out of its way to re-explain that over and over and over again instead of just getting to the jokes. Right. Uh, I watched some a few episodes of Cells at Work, which is good if you if you like it. You it's know? cute, and I keep seeing it in my Twitter thread. People yeah. keep talking about it. I wouldn't say that it's like terrific must-watch, but like I had a good time watching it. I would watch more, but I'm not going to go out of my way to watch more. Also, that doctor who did a thing were like, hey, how accurate is this? Hey, watch this anime and tell us about it. I was going to watch that, and I didn't. It's pretty accurate right. on a high level. Like, the basic processes are all lined up right. Okay. Uh, and then... The final anime that I actually watched one episode of was Hane Bado. Which and it was Hane Bad. <laughs> it was the, this was the badminton sports anime, which I had <laughs> Bad. Some, Emphasis on bad. I had some hopes for, but it wasn't like the other sports anime that I'm used to that were lots of exciting characters and sports energy, uh, such as Yoa Petal or... You know, anything like that. So, and I, was, I, was, I was not into it. Yeah, I was gonna watch some Overlord, the skeleton guy one, but the internet keeps reminding me repeatedly that it's apparently bad, and there's so much good non-anime right now, like Dragon Prince, that yeah. I got distracted. It's one that keeps coming up every season when we judge, and we say, oh man, this looks cool with the skeleton guy, but people are saying bad things about it now, so maybe our, our judgment of that it has potential is maybe wrong. No one I trust has said it's good, and people I don't trust have said it's okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, let us move on to the fall 2018 season, and the first anime uh, that is up for judging is Sword Art Online... Alakization? Al Alakization. I don't know. I mean... Sword I mean, Sword Fart Online is kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> to steal that from Dave Riley, Fast Karate for the Gentleman. <laughs> All I know about it is that it's another one of those MMO shows, right? Which is the sign of a bad show already. Mm. I, I, I would just assume that it's the same as Hack Sign because I haven't watched any MMO show since then. So I get the impression that- I've also been told that Overlord is an MMO show. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. So I get the impression that the difference between like the sword art stuff and Hack Sign is that Hack Sign is just boring and never goes anywhere, mm -hmm. but Sword Art Online goes somewhere bad. Ah. That is what, that's how it's been described well, then it might me. be better than Hack Sign. Oh yeah, because if it's bad enough, it could be uh, it could be one of those situations. I mean, this is very popular though, and it is the third season. So if you're the kind of person who likes the popular animes, Naruto, Bleaches, those sort of you know mega popular yeah. shows, you'll probably like this show. That's a Venn diagram right there. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, let me focus on the right window so we can. <laughs> okay. Fairy Tale. Oh, more Fairy Tale. 2018. The final season of Fairy Tale. Didn't, I think I heard that that when, because previously we judged the final season of Gintama, someone tweeted that that wasn't actually the final season. Gintama. 
Saitama is just yeah, still going li- as far as I lying. know. Yeah, but anyway, I assume this is actually the final season of Fairy Tail. Uh, I know it mostly from the manga, which I haven't read, but I've heard people talk about, and it's a very popular, supposedly good fantasy manga. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's sort of, it always, I always imagined it being sort of like a Final Fantasy kind of story, right? You know, kids, adventure, creatures, that sort of thing. It's tough, though, because after that one Final Fantasy anime, that whole, the idea of a Final Fantasy anime just got poisoned for me. <laughs> I think it's just in the same genre as... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, fairy tales very famous and popular fantasy deal. You know. But to judge anime by its cover, if you're already on this train, <laughs> there's another station. All right. Uh, but this is the final season, so if you like it, you probably want to start with season one, whenever that was. Okay. Goblin Slayer. Ooh, plus right. one for the theme, my, minus one for the image of the girl. All right, she's got. Uh, let's see. Young priestess formed her first adventuring party. Oh, we've got so far three fantasy shows in a row here. Maybe it's a fantasy era again. Um, Goblin which... Slayer comes to the rescue. They want to exterminate all goblins by any means necessary. Okay, so are goblins good? Maybe this this could either be a oh goblins are actually good and complicated thing, but based on the pose of her, we've got a butt shot already, like front butt. The cover of the manga that it's oh a novel that it's based on is not uh, helping either. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a little pervy and not that good. Mm. All right, anyway. Let's see. Tokyo Ghoul Re 2. I mean... <laughs> it's another train. We keep seeing... T- <laughs> are, are there, like, there used to be a lot of, like, new shows when they did this, but now it's, it seems like there's more and more sequel shows, new seasons of things, sirens out the window because we're in New York. <laughs> it's the anime police. It's the anime police coming to arrest Tokyo Ghoul <laughs> for coming out with too many seasons and I feel like using a colon in their title. I feel like this is always happening, but there's... There's like three kinds of shows. There's shows that run forever, the shows that have like five or six seasons, and then the shows that are just like one shots. Mm-hmm. And those five or six season shows are not generally the kinds of shows we watch, shows, so shows they're off our have, radar. Shows that have more than two seasons tend to be, yeah, you know, not, not the highest caliber. The longest shows I've ever watched were Fist of the North Star and Sailor Moon. Mm. Like Even the shows Fist of the North Star, even with all those episodes, is only two seasons. Yeah. TV seasons. Sailor Moon's like five-ish seasons, like 200 episodes. I mean, the ones that I watch that have more seasons are like sports ones, like Yo Pedal, which I keep bringing up every time we yeah. do this. <laughs> Initial D, also a sports thing, right? Yep. Even then, though, I stopped watching But those aren't, those aren't the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, my point. Initial D is only great season with season one, but again... I feel like it's not that this is a new trend, it's just that we're, it's not on our radar, mm-hmm. unless we're going and looking for it. Alright, Tawaru Majutsu no Index 3. Is this, is, is that... The third season of Tawaru Majutsu no well, Index. Well, it says no index. Is that the same thing as, like, certain magical index, whatever that is? I, I like. don't actually know. I, I, Nor can, do I how like... many shows can there be that say no index? I mean, if I squint, it kind of looks like Gintama? Is the problem? It is. It's a certain magical index. Okay, okay. okay. So So at least I I know what it is. I've heard of this, but I don't actually know anything about it. I've just heard of a certain magical index. And more importantly, no one talks about it in Anna Twitter. No one talks about it among my friend group. It it never comes up except here. But apparently it's popular enough to get three seasons. Yeah. It looks like it's about people. So, so far, every, all the popular shows we've judged (laughs) so far are shows with like multiple seasons and our mass appeal anime shows. But they're easy, so there's an easy heuristic to figure out if you need to get on board with one of these shows. If a show gets a bunch of seasons and no one you know is talking about it, it's probably not your jam. Mm. If there's a bunch of seasons and you just didn't watch the first season and you've never heard anyone talk about it, Fred dodged a bullet. Yeah, also these things are long, so that it's like even if they're good, you gotta think about if the investment is worth it, right? It's like if, let's say, Fairy Tale is good, Right? Is it worth three seasons of your time when you could watch something else that's yep. shorter and better? Meanwhile, Dragon Prince is like nine episodes total for season one. Mm-hmm. All right. There we go. Oh. oh, yeah. It's the fifth story arc of JoJo. Giorno Giovanni. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything. I don't even know where they are in the JoJo I canon. I mean, nothing needs to be said about JoJo. It's JoJo. There's more. <laughs> right. Well, this is a show with many seasons. Yeah. But you know what? All my friends are talking about it all the time, and I'm constantly seeing it on Twitter, and yep. people hyping it up, so it's worth their time. The only problem is what I never do with JoJo, and I want to, is just watch it all in chronological order, like I should. I end up just watching, like, 
four random episodes from each season based on people saying, oh my god, you gotta watch this one episode. Well, I mean, you know, as great as JoJo is, at least personally for me, if I watch it straight in a row, it gets sort of too elongated and shown in fighting-y. But one right? episode standalone But is if you just really watch great. one episode, it's just, it's all, you get it's the fun of the cra- tough. you get the fun of the craziness of JoJo without having, without feeling that drag of extended story. Yup. Right? Like when we were re-watching Sailor Moon when they were, it was on for a while, they were like redoing it. Sailor Moon's pretty good if you watch it like an episode or two a week, but if you watch ten in a row... Mm, it's like, okay, you know, tiara whatever. <laughs> okay, Tensei Shitara, Slime, Data Ken. I think I heard, isn't this like... Slime, it's, it's, oh, the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh man, already A, this is A plus material already. So I, I heard of this from somewhere. Oh, and it's not, so a lonely 37 year old is stuck in a dead end job, unhappy with his mundane life, etc. And instead of becoming One Punch Man, he becomes reincarnated I guess he gets, slime. he gets Batman's parents, and awakens to a fresh start in a fantasy realm. So dude gets stabbed dies and wakes up as a like level one slime in a fantasy world. Okay, the concept is great. I don't know. The concept is A+. Plus. I don't know if the execution is really going to be there, but I don't, the concept is worth checking this out. This I, is, I did see some rumblings about this. Uh, I'll watch at least one episode of this. Yeah, I wonder, like it could have problems, but just the concept, it's like, okay, you played that concept, I will roll the dice on you. <laughs> even if you've got some perviness or something, which I detect faint hints of. Yeah, know, but maybe. even then, like, Slayers has its pervy elements. That's like, different, it's comedy perviness and yeah. not, uh, you know, actually trying to get fans. Yeah, that's that true, that is a point, because while uh, cheesecake Naga fans. has bazongas, they are purely comedic. Also, and, those aren't even in the TV series. And they're also the just OAV. perfectly spherical beach balls. Yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, dude, that concept. You, di you died, you get sent to a new world, it's an anime, but oh, guess what, you're a slime. That's worth betting 20 on Ray. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Irozoku Sekai no Ashitakara. Ooh, magical realism modernist. It looks it's like everything we've so far been fantasy. So many colors in the future. What a wonderful world. Yeah, 100% of these shows have been fantasy magic adjacent. Her grandmother, a mage, sends her to the past, to the year 2018. Oh, so it's a mage from the future. That's a little bit different than usual. Yeah. And gets sent to the past. But the past. And then it ends up in high school. All right. There's no warning signs, and this could be cute. Mm, it's original, not as original as being a slime, but, uh, <laughs> you know, not the worst. The trouble is a lot of these shows, show, I, rem I can't even remember the names of them because there were so many, but there were a bunch of shows, especially like 10 years ago, that were like, there's mages in kind of a modern world, and they always tended to be kind of slice of life and just get boring and not go anywhere. Mm. Can't say that that's the case here, because they're related only by the fact that they happen to involve magic in a modern setting, but... It's a, it's a, it's a flag. Yeah, alright. Uh, people are about to kiss. Yagate Kimini Naru. You has always loved shoujo manga and waits right. to get a love confection that sends her heart a flutter with bubbles and blushes when a junior high classmate confesses she feels nothing. Oh. She's disappointed. She enters high school unsure about how to, I guess the rose petals oh. didn't fly past. Ah, but then she sees the beautiful, beautiful student council president turn down another Suda, and by such maturity, she's inspired to ask for help. Okay, so it's two people who are disillusioned by the shoujo trappings of romance and possibly end up having a real romance. Ah, uh, I see. So she sees the, the president turn someone down. Is this a Yuri show? Is the president also a girl? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, okay. It's a Yuri show. That's, All right. It's actually, you know, that seems okay if you want to see some... High school Yuri romance, that's one of the better ones I've heard of. And it doesn't look like it's perverted, it Concept looks like it's... Conceptually speaking. It appears to be earnest, which is uh, better than you can usually hope for with these things. Mm -hmm. Alright, why not? Alright, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a girl in a bunny, in a bunny suit. Session Butayaro wa Bunny Girl Senpai no Yume wo Minai. Okay, uh, alright, already, this is Vito. Quote, there's a rumor about a mysterious phenomenon called puberty syndrome. Should we just skip this? Do we I'm, need to say anything else? I'm just curious what the deal is. Do they turn into bunny girls and when they hit puberty? I don't know. Uh, people around her can't see her bunny girl figure. She sets out to solve the mystery. She learns other heroines of puberty syndrome start to appear. All right, yeah, this is bad news. All right, whatever. 
SSSS Gridman. It's a mecha show. Yeah, I've heard. But of it. it looks more like either Bokurano or Ava. I've than... heard of Gridman before. Just based on the image I see here, it looks more like a serious robot show than a punching robot. Yeah, show. I don't know anything about it, but I've heard. This is not the first time I've heard the word Gridman. Yep. Also, I see that it's related to the Nihon animator Mihonichi, which, if you don't know, is like this, uh, like amateur indie student animator like app you can get on your phone it's like sort of like a digital animation exhibition of like you know student animation. oh it's more like attack on titan he turns into the giant robot oh awesome like a superhuman samurai Cyber something Squad. like that it's you didn't get to school blah 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 uh, but there's you know people there's like student and and amateur animations that go on this app for like a limited time and you can watch them there yep. and usually they're really you know, creative and cool. So if this is related to that somehow, like some student animation now became a real mecha show, that this could be good. And also, a, there's not enough mecha shows these days yep. that aren't kid mecha shows. And it's got a cool concept, at least, of like there's this giant monster in the distance that just doesn't move. It's just standing there, and he keeps seeing it, and then it moves. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, All grid, right. grid man. If you if you if you have a mecha drought, check out the Grid Man. Kishuku Gako no Juliet. Boarding school, Yuri boarding show? School. Leaders of rival dorms, but in secret they love each other. Uh, it seems so, like, and uh, uh, that seems just like a concept that you totally expect. It's yeah. It's like, just like, you know, isn't that every anime? But it could be fun, though. Yeah, but it looks a little generic with a bunch of characters together, so it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like this will not have a here is Greenwood element and focus mostly on the romance. Mm, maybe. That's my guess. It's a it's comedy and romance. So I think that when they're when the when the two rival groups are fighting, there's gonna be comedy. And then when the two characters are like, hmm, there's gonna be romance. Yeah. Right? So you get both at once. Radiant. That's good hair. That's good faces. <laughs> it looks like a shonen boy who's gonna do stuff. Gonna be sure. a great magician. Mythical land that spawns monsters called Nemesis in quotes capital N. Yeah, it looks like uh you know, a kid show. Some boy is going to go on an adventure. Kid shonen show. Yeah. The, the problem is, you know what's going to happen? This is the kind of show that's going to be like Yu Yu Hakusho. The character is going to be great, and the art is going to be great, and then if you actually watch it, it's going to be boring as shit, is my guess. I wonder if it'll be drawn out, or if it'll be not, if it'll be... A 21 drawn. episodes. Well, that's, that's less than drawn out. Ore ga suki nano wa imoto imoto janai. Already warning sign. Quote, awkward sibling romantic comedy. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would not be a warning sign, but it's anime, so that is definitely a warning sign. She wrote a novel about a little sister who dotes on her older brother, <laughs> and the novel wins a light novel award. <laughs> Yui is the one who debuts as a proxy light novel author instead under the pen name. Okay. I worry that uh, that this is in the genre. Yeah, <laughs> you know what you know what genre <laughs> I'm talking about. The incest genre. All right, rewrited. <laughs> rewrited. Koku Koe no Derrida. The year's. That's like this is like the title I would make if I was making fun of the current titles of anime. <laughs> A uh, young engineer named Derrida became famous thanks to his contribution to development of the autonomous machine DZ a rebuild. The manufacturing companies. Attacked by unknown forces. A little bit of Pat Labor, a little bit of something. It's a little bit of Pat Labor and a little bit darker than black. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many proper nouns here. Love that darker than black. Cold sleep machine wakes up 10 years later, devastated the world in the middle of dot dot dot. So he, he engineers the technology and then goes into cryo sleep and wakes up and sees that his technology is what has ruined the world and has to fix it. I mean, that's a cool sci-fi plot, but and the it's, art also, looks good? it's also feels like a sci-fi plot I've heard before. Futurama. I, I guess my warning is that the art looks good, but there's I feel like this is going to be one of those shows that has too much exposition and world building and the characters fall flat and it doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong, but too many shows that sound like this go that way. Ulysses, Jean d'Arc, Torenkin no Kishi. Is this just Ulysses with girls? The novel series takes place in 15th century France during the Hundred Years' oh. War. Oh. Son of a noble studies magic. I've seen people tweeting about this. All right, I don't know anything about this. Versus himself in the study of magic and al alchemy, school for knights, Francis defeated Asian court, schools... So it's just Hundred Years' War crossed with girl I magic. I see some big boobies. Yeah. 
I don't think the show's gonna be good. I think this is in the same genre as, as here's Nobunaga, but he's a cute girl. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, ooh, a bunch of, right. Surune. Kazumai Koku Kyudobu. Oh, middle school archery club. Ooh, is this, uh, I think it's cute boys play archery. Ooh, that could, this could be a sports show. Right? Cute yeah, sports those show. Aren't, those aren't girls, right? Those are guys. Those are dudes. This looks like a realistic slice of lifey, uh, just show, like sports anime, but realistic sports anime. So on anime. the one hand, yeah, I feel like this is, you know, it's gonna be, like, boys archery is a great sports anime already. Yup. The question is, if you're not gonna be wacky, like, and excited and energetic like the shonen sports. Then are you gonna be able to pull off free? You're gonna go the serious route, right? Well, if you're gonna go the serious route, you, you know, it's gotta be good serious, right? Like free or whatever, right? Or touch. Yeah, something like, it, like it's that. It's gotta be, like, I, th I feel like a lot of sports anime really end up between those two sides and just end up being boring. But yeah, uh, I know that pretty much every lady I know will probably love <laughs> boys archery the anime. Uh, or, you know, anyone who loves dudes. Anyway. Or people who love archery. All right, Golden Kamui, too. We talked about Golden Kamui last time. I feel like we just got to watch Golden Kamui. I, we gotta, I feel like we got to watch some Golden Kamui also, because I don't know. Not, I have nothing to say about it other than what I said in the last e episode, which you can still see on YouTube. Other than now, it's got a second season, so... What's weird is when I see people... It's clearly not like those other shows that we started this episode yep. judging. But also, when people talk about Golden Kamui on Twitter, what I mostly see them saying is, why isn't anyone else talking about Golden Kamui? But they don't say anything about Golden Kamui. They just want... Like, they talk about why people aren't talking about it. Mm -hmm. Which is... Usually when that happens, it's a show that's good but weird. Mm -hmm. Which is exactly what I expect based on that. All right. Release the Spice! <laughs> spice spelled with the letter Y! Is this a character named Spice? Yeah, it begins with a high school girl named Momo. She's in high school. She's an agent who works with a private intelligence company, protects the city. Oh, will this be more like Gatekeepers? Gatekeepers is one where they're in high school, but secretly in a... Protection. Yeah, there's a bunch of shows like that. The story that. will eventually focus on six high school girls. This is, ga this is like Gatekeepers too. Well, it's Gatekeepers all girls though. Yeah. I wonder how much high school girl action there is versus, you know, actual action. It's hard to say. How much gunslinger girl is this? Yeah, but my worry, I don't know, it doesn't, eh. mm. I feel like I would not even look at this again unless someone said something. Yeah, what's the studio, Le Deuce. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't a deuce. Yeah, but the, the name is good. Release the spice. <laughs> All right, here you go, Ren. This is for you. Motherfucker. <laughs> we knew this was coming. It's finally here. It's Ingress. It is based on the game that is the same game as Pokemon Go, the only, game that only was, without Pokemon in the it. The game that was just the prototype for Pokemon Go. <laughs> well, they made this game Ingress. And then that they made Pokemon Go and they stopped, they basically stopped making Ingress. Oh, right? they're just trying to take the lore of Ingress, which is dumb. Yep. And turn it into an anime. Go green, because you're green. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was green because it wasn't blue. That's right. And I stopped playing that game when I saw what it was doing. So, uh, I don't know, is there, is there anyone who actually cares about Ingress? Like, why would you, if you were a fan of Ingress, I don't know how many people were. There were, because when Pokemon Go came out, a ton of people were real butter that that might kill Ingress. Right. Well, are those pe are there people who are so into the Ingress lore that they're gonna want to watch an anime about it today in 2018? Because Pokemon Go really fell off. Like it had a second win recently, po but I think Pokemon Go is is I'm seeing a lot of like groups. Like I saw the other day, like a bunch of people rump bumbled onto the subway in a Pokemon Go group, like yep. middle aged people. Well, because it fell off for a while because because it had a problem. It had a lot of problems, and it still has a lot of problems. But it's getting a big second wind, mm -hmm. and they're doing the bare minimum to kindle it and keep it going. But anyway, the point is Ingress. I don't know who cares about the lore of Ingress. Uh, the, uh, why is why is this? You know who's gonna like now? this? You know who's into this? The people who still like Ingress are a small-ish but dedicated fan base who are the same kinds of people who are really into those lame AR games that are used as marketing materials to promote like a video game. Uh, and would anybody who is uh, not an Ingress fan oh, hell no. become one because of the show? Because the lore, the ingre, if I had to describe the Ingress lore succinctly, I would say this. You know a video game that's kind of fun, but if you right click on stuff, there's like eight paragraphs of text and everything you can click on? People who read that text, that is the target demographic for Ingress. All right. 
Tonari no Kyuketsuki san. Va cute vampire horror girl named Sophie Twilight, and someone becomes interested due to her. No. It's like a cute little vampire girl show with a laptop. Yeah, I feel like this is not going to be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't even know what to say. Uh, and this is Uchi no Maid got. Made with an eye patch. No. No. Uh, she lost her mother in early age, now lives with her father, and father employs a maid who is a former self-defense force official and is also a lowly c- eh. No, but I want to say, this is the inversion of Full Metal Panic, like Full Metal Panic Fumafu, but it's gonna be the- It feels like it's in the Chobits Mahoromatic category. Yes, but crossed with Fumafu. Okay. Because she's like a badass with an eye patch who was in the SDF or whatever. And also a lowly c Yeah. All right. Double Decker, Doug and Kirill. Is this a mecha show or a fighting force show? The fact that one of the characters is named Doug already makes me kind of into it. The city state of Liz Valletta. That's Two a terrible name. And the people have lived peaceful lives, but in the shadows, crime and illegal drugs run rampant. Highly lethal drug anthem. Is this a drug from Robocop 2? <laughs> <laughs> they use the double decker system in the in the place that has two sons to tackle the problem. Doug is his investigator, and Kirill is a, someone with mysterious. So abilities. this has got that darker than blacky kind of like million proper nouns, but otherwise it doesn't look anything like darker. Yeah, I can than see black. the theme of the show is everything is double. You see, there's like some sort of double building in the back. There's two yep. sons. There's these two teams that have to work together, right? Um, so that's a, that's a cute theme going on, but otherwise it seems like the story is. Crime fighting with some sort of power. Yeah. So. The best case scenario is this is going to be one of those shows that brings like a ton of weird crap all together, like Project Blue GQ, like that kind of thing. Because it looks like a bunch of different kinds of characters and a bunch of, a million concepts are going to mash Every, them all everyone's together. Everyone's got real long coats. Yep. All right. Conception. That was the easy to pronounce name. <laughs> <laughs> Story of the game revolves around a high school student who finds out undergraduate's cousin. So it's based on a game? That a cousin and childhood friend is pregnant. All right. Only the people only people can fight the monsters are the star children. They can only be what? produced by the 12 shrine maidens. What? I think it's just going to be a fight the monsters, Joe. I see, like, I see some uh, animal ears. I see it's all cute girls making the, the like, I'm the sad girl eyes. Eh. Mm. I don't think there's any reason to watch this. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> all right. Zombieland Saga. That doesn't say anything about it. Uh, based on the image, it looks like anime characters and some a zombie dog. It looks violent and serious. Yeah. But with cute girls, which could be kind of like uh, when they cry and they're like all cute characters, but like super serious, gory, bloody, dangerous. I guess situation. that would be the best case scenario for this show. Yeah. Yeah, zombies actually fell off the map for a while, so I think now is actually an appropriate time to come with like one zombie thing. And yeah. as long as you're unique and not just Walking Dead number ten then you can actually maybe go somewhere with zombies. Like, zombies got to be one element, and you need another element there. Like, mm -hmm. that's how you do it today. I, I mean, if the other element is anime, does that count? Eh, well, it looks like the other element is anime girls. Ah, all right. Because th th that cast is all girls. All right, so there's some Phoenix Wright action. Why are they making more of this? It was really not worth watching. Right, so that's the thing, is like, uh, when the first one, did we judge? I think we judged the first one. We judged one. it, and I think we- Anime Boston, I think we judged yeah, it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we watched it and reviewed it, too. And I think it was me. I was, like, hyped for it, but then the problem is that it turns out it was one of those low-rent, bad CG shows, yep. right? And it was just really painful to watch. Like, it wasn't so entertaining, it, it moved seemed... slow, it wasn't, like, the comedy beats were way off. All right, so now they're continuing it, and it's like, no. If you want Phoenix Wright, just play the games, which I think are coming out on PC, right? Like, now, they just did come out, or are coming out soon. They should be on your phone. Like, they're on every platform Like, now. playing a case in the game is faster than watching one of these episodes. That's right. So, you don't need any of this. Plus, I think the stories that are in these episodes are the same ones that are in the game. Yeah. So, I don't think there's any reason to watch this low-rent CG bad anime. If they make a good anime out of it with, like, new stories, then it'd be worth watching, which is what I thought it was going to be, but it turns out that's not what it is. So, forget you, Phoenix Wright, even though Phoenix Wright is great. Sorato Umi no Aida. The story is set in Onomichi Hiroshima oh, in 2016. fish disappear from the sea and only whales live in the ocean. Good job, whales. Took care of those fish. You know, that's interesting that the, the fishing culture, like, fish are gone, only the whales are left. A All fishery right. union is established to begin to train space fishermen. All right. I'm getting six female space, space fishermen. fishermen. That's space fishermen. How can you not watch this? 
You know what the best case scenario for this is? This might not be good, but how can you not watch the show about space fishermen? There is a chance <laughs> this could be in adjacent to or near the subgenre made by the show Planetess. I, no, it's not. You can look, there's a cute creature on someone's head. Oh, crap. And there's also a child. Yeah, it's not going to be serious. No, but the point is, space fishermen, or space fisher women. this is space fishing. All right. Going into space, catch a fish. <laughs> Reel them in, out the rocket. Female fishermen are in demand due to strengthening of equal employment law for men and women. Six new female, okay. What a great world where there's a great equal employment law and there are fish in space and only whales in the sea. How did the fish and get into space? they're not going out for the whales. Yeah. True. I guess you'll have to watch to find out. I'm actually, I want it. <laughs> what is going on in this show? <laughs> Hinomaro Zumo. It's a divine <gasps> ritual, a martial art, a combat sport. It is sumo. It is a sports anime of sumo, but also supernatural. Based shape. on those images, this is 100% the iShield 21 style sumo sports anime. It looks to be the iShield 21 of, sport, of sumo. So there's... Crazy awesome character sumo wrestling, but also crazy superpowers. I'm gonna watch an episode of this. You're gonna watch the sumo show? <laughs> yeah. I think this is gonna be, you know, the uh, the initial D of sumo. The only way this could go wrong is if it's slow and boring. It's gotta just come right There's no in. way this is slow and boring. <laughs> yeah, it's happened. Well, but... I guess a sumo fight could last, but here's the thing. It's about the sumo club at the high school, right? Yeah. And you can see in the poster, one, two, three, four, five, six... Sumo wrestlers and one crazy one in the background is probably the villain or something, right? Yep. There is no way that they're gonna drag out one character's battle over many episodes, right? This is only gonna be a uh, how many how many episodes? Four thousand nine hundred. It doesn't Not, say. It doesn't say, but. Uh, there's no way you can have one character's fight be dragged out because you gotta get everyone's fights in there. <laughs> right? Or bouts or whatever they are. They're not fights in sumo, right? I'll like, watch this. I'll give it a shot. This, because the, This could be fun. Also because the manga it's based on, it looks like it has pretty good and atypical art as well. Mm. So yeah. Uh, sumo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the picture <laughs> is all pastel and blue and pink. And frilly dresses and stuff. But then the title is Beelzebub Show. <laughs> 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 No, oh, Kini Mesu, ma Marin Mama. lands his dream job with the Demon King he's always held in awe. When his tenure begins, it turns out the Demon King is probably a cute Moe girl, and it's all cute Moe girls. Oh. Yen Press. Oh. All right. Oh, I thought it was going to be the Demon King was crazy, evil Demon King, and but just happen to like these sorts of things. I'm pretty but sure the Demon King is just a cute girl, and all the demons are cute girls. <sighs> If I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, give me something. <laughs> You're probably right. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I heard of this when it was a manga. I'm pretty sure this was a manga first. I'm watching the hell out of this. Yeah, I heard about this when it was a manga, and then I forgot about it until just now when it all came flashing back to me. Uh, I don't think it's been published in English yet. So what it is, is it's a comedy manga about... A skeleton named Honda who works in a bookstore. It's a skeleton working in a bookstore. A plus, best anime so far. And the skeleton is just drawn like a straight up skeleton. It is a skeleton who works in a bookstore recommending books to people, probably Necronomicons. And well, shit. look, I see a pumpkin head dude, a bunny head person, a, a Kitsune face mask. There's it doesn't a bunch of matter. Going on. It's a bookstore where a skeleton works. It's comedy. This is the best anime that I've seen maybe all year. <laughs> I saw, I heard about the manga, that, but I was never, I never read it because it wasn't, you know. This tracks well with Edmund's book coming out, or Edmund's game coming out. Uh, but yeah. Gaikotsu Shoten and Honda-san will give this the star award for fall 2018. I'm gonna call it now. Most anticipated anime. This will be similar in like popularity to Panda, or uh. Let's give out a star award every episode for now on. Okay, this gets to start Polar Bear <laughs> Cafe, but it'll be Skeleton Dude, Slice of Life instead. Mmm. I will watch that. I'm into this. All right. Kaze ga suyoku fuiteru. A Tokyo round trip college. Oh, it's a sports? Marathon oh. race. Oh. So it's Marathon like, relay race. Yeah, so it seems like it's serious boys running sports anime. So it seems like the sports anime, other than sumo. 
uh, are going to the serious side of things and are going away from the wacky side of things. Yep, but the fantasy side has gone pretty hard into MMO territory for a while as the fantasy setting. Mm. But there's a few non-MMOs this time right. around. So if you're not, what were the other serious ones we saw? The, if the not, archery If you one. don't want the archery boys, you can go for the running boys. I feel like the archery boys are going to be better than the running boys. But maybe if you watch all the archery and you just couldn't get enough, maybe then go for these running boys. All right. Karakuri Circus. Huh. Okay, people are trying to get their hands on his dad's fortune. This reminds me vaguely of a lot of, like, 90s OAV I was going to say, this feels like a generic anime action show, but it actually feels sort of old school, right? Yeah, like 90s you look at anime. that dude, it looks more like a Kenshiro uh, character design yep. kind of stuff. And that really looks like like mid-90s characters, like with the shading and the open mouth, like a riding beam yeah. kind of is thing. This based on an, is the manga that it's based on an old manga? That could be why. It could, that right? Yeah. But this feels like a blast from the past, only new. So it's either a new anime based on an old manga, or a new manga in an old style. Wait, it gets weird in a hurry. Blah, blah, blah. Kidnapping finds out they're not humans, but wooden puppets with amazing strength. This feels like 90s action anime. There's definitely something retro going on here, and I'm kind of feeling it. Yeah, because I've watched a couple of like random episodes of old shows like this. Like I watched an episode of Riding Bean the other day randomly. Isn't Riding Bean? Well, yeah, the, 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 like the OAV movie thing. thing. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Anima Yell, it's Cheerleader Girls. Nope. First year high school student, clumsy, joins a cheerleading club to make friends. Nope. The end. It's, yeah, okay. But I watched a Riding Bean, I watched, you know what I watched again recently? Mm -hmm. Gunsmith Cats. Okay. Uh, Akinesasu Shoujo, a group of girls living in a small city gathered to enact a ritual. They're the Crystal Radio Research Society. Uh, the ritual is merely an urban legend, but events coalesce. Huh. Okay. Mm. Not a lot to go on with this. It depends what the events are. There's, there's, there's too many unknowns to make a clear judgment. The, the path is cloudy. I'll need to connect the <laughs> to and look into my crystal ball to see if this is going to be a good anime or not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's not enough to go on, and it looks very nondescript. So I would skip it unless something tells me otherwise. I'm actually kind of curious. <clears throat> Crystal Radio Research Society. Ah, but Curious has burned me before. I really wanted to know what the deal was in Noir, yeah. and I know the deal now, and it's dumb. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dakaratai Otoko, one e ni, the number one hyphen I, that's, that, that's one e, ni, odo, odo sarete imasu. I see some alcoholism <laughs> and blackmail. Someone reigned as the idol industry's most huggable for five years until a freshman actor took away the title, I assume. Uh, I guess it's at idol boys competing to be who is the most awesome in the idol industry. It's hard. To, I feel like this is actually but a maybe romance. Maybe there's some BL action going on. I feel on. like these guys are going to fall in love but hate each other and there's going to be yeah, serious there's some, space there's some drama. drama, romance, BL, I feel like, between idol boys. Yeah. So... Uh, I guess there hasn't been another show like this this season except for Archery Boys, which I don't know how much BL that will have. So there you go. Uh, maybe it's an idol show also. All right, Gakua and Basara. I feel like I've heard of this. Oh, it's based on uh, warring states of Capcom's action game franchise. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, there's no way this is good. Right. I mean, I feel like, oh, it's Sengoku Basara, but yeah. this is just called Gakua. And I've heard of Sengoku, Sengoku Basara, but this is just a... Gaku and Basara, the second battle comedy parody. Ah! Oh. So it's if you're already if you're not a, someone who already likes Sengoku Basara, then this is not for you. But if you're already a Sengoku Basara fan, here is a parody for you to enjoy if you're way into that. Right? Though in my experience, these kinds of parody shows tend to not be good. Yeah, the the full the Fist of the North Star parody show did not really do it for me. Yeah, right? I, I really. I feel I'm... like for a parody show to be funny for you, that anime has to be like your number one show. So if you're a Sengoku Basara number one fan, then this is great. But if you're just like you've seen Sengoku Basara, then this might not be funny, or you gotta be way into it. I think. All right, Senran Kagura Shinobi Master, Tokyo Yorna Hen. Yo oh, Tokyo Yoma Hen. Serious generic anime season two? Second season of Shinobi, it might be Shinobi Master, just spelled wrong. Uh, ninja fighting, yeah. Okay, 
Yeah. Uh, there's no other info. There's nothing else to say there. <laughs> it's based on... It's a prequel to Senran... Oh, it's actually a prequel to Senran Kagura. So if you've seen Senran Kagura, now it's a prequel for you. Uh, Hangaku say Million Arthur. Oh, God. It's based on Square Enix's massively multiplayer online role-playing game. There's uh, no way this is good. I think another problem with this is that uh, those other shows, they're shows that take place in, like, MMOs that were made up. Right? Uh, so, they're, they're a show first, and they just use the ideas of an MMO as a construct. This was an MMO first. It's also an MMO I don't think anyone in the U.S. has ever played. So I feel like if you haven't played this, you're not Japanese, how would you even know? Yup, right? like you're not gonna get it, and it's gonna have to be like very true to the canon it's of the good, game. Right, it's gonna stick more to the game than those other ones that are based on made-up MMOs. And <laughs> The only thing that would be good is if this was 26 ep 25 episodes of a dude just grinding up levels, and the 26th episode, he fights a raid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I would, I, would, I would note that that was a good concept. Sure. Uh, Merk Storia, Mook... Muki Ryoku no Shonen Tobin Naka uh, no Shoujo. This fantasy role-playing game is set in a world where humans and monsters is the, coexist. Is the fall season the MMO season? Is that what this is? Journey to restore the memories of his friend trapped in the... There's no way this is good either, but it's probably marginally better than the one we just talked about. It has a cute uh, animal character that gets all merch of. Looks like a cross between like an old Magic Knight Ray Earth character and a Pokemon. It's like super generic looking. <laughs> anyway. Uh, how many of these are there? Is the next one gonna be one? Bakumatsu! What a great title, I can say it so easily. Alright. In the original game story, the heroine is in Kyoto for sightseeing when she receives a mysterious pocket watch from a man. The heroine wears the watch and goes through a shrine gate. She's transported to another Bakumatsu era 150 years ago during the final years of Edo period. Heroin must find a way back to... Alright, so someone traveled in time to the past and has to get back to the present. And there's some fighting and a lot of characters in that poster. <laughs> it gives me echoes of Fushigi Yugi in terms of, like, go to a, like, past-ish world where there's a bunch of people and you end up being important. Escaflone kind of had that with the magical world, too. That's but... true, but this is based on a video game, which gives me more pause. Oh, no, it's going to be bad. Oh. It's going to be bad. I'm not saying it's going to be good. I'm just saying, the fact it's based on a video game makes me go, mm, maybe no. All right. Hu Lizi Shang. Is this Chinese in some way? That's a Chinese-ish title, right? It, it Similar, his name is like Fox in Chinese. He's a ghost singer-songwriter for a popular and narcissistic boy idol, uh, whose name means Peacock in Chinese, who is handsome but can't... Okay, dude is the voice. It's a Milli Vanilli-style situation. Oh, Milli Vanilli but idols? Yeah. But also, he's got a mask and a scar on his face, but yeah. also some sort of maybe supernatural evil? This could could possibly be not bad. Oh, in English, it's Voice of Fox. Okay. <laughs> it's music genre, so it's an idol show. It's about the music, primarily. Yeah. But uh, I think there is going to be some sort of cool, additional, like, supernatural plot tacked on, which is kind of fun. I can see that. This is This is not necessarily off the list. I can watch this. I want to see what the deal is. All right. Hora, Mimi ga mieteru. Yo, the cute story of the daily life between a guy and his cat boy roommate. Uh, this could be great. That's, that's a boy, and he's got a roommate, which is a cat boy. Yep. And, and look at those character designs. This looks really cute. It seems fun. It seems real fun. And the trailer, you can look at the still image on the trailer. Oh my god. Uh, I definitely think there's going to be some little uh, some VL kind of action going on But I on bet there. not a lot. That's but not no, the focus. But it, I think it's going to be mostly the cute implied variety, which is totally tolerable and has a mass appeal. And I think you're also getting a lot of the human cat boy doing cat-like things, and that's like 90% yeah. of the comedy. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Imagine your your roommate is, is younger and also a cat boy and is doing cat... So it's sort of like... There'll be jokes about taking care of a cat, but nope. also jokes, roommate jokes combined into cat roommate jokes, right? Or it'll be, it's almost like if you're like, well, what if your cat could talk the show and you just sort of bring it to the next level? <laughs> <laughs> what if your cat was half person? Okay, this could be fun. Thunderbolt Fantasy 2. I don't know what Thunderbolt Fantasy 1 was. Is that live action? It, the poster looks live action, but it's definitely not. There's no info about this whatsoever. We'd have to watch the trailer. I don't know. It looks, looks, it looks like a fantasy show. Yep, it looks vaguely Amano adjacent. Yeah, you, the, the, it looks like those costumes were made by someone inspired by Yoshitaka Amano's artwork. 
But other than that, what I, I don't know about Thunderbolt Fantasy 1. I got nothing to go on, and that image makes it look very live-action-y, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's the Fist of the North Star Regenesis second thing. So last time we talked about this, I was like, oh man, this could be good. It's Fist yeah. of the North Star. But no, it's one of those really bad CG things that's cheaply and poorly made. I watched like a fraction of one of the episodes and couldn't get through it. Then there's no way Just this is watch good. Fist of the North Star again instead of watching So Tendo Cat and Regenesis <laughs> 2. Uh, Money! <laughs> it's sad. Or get the So Tendo Ken manga if you can. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Oh, Gurazeni too. Okay. Serious baseball. Yeah, we watched this. We we were, we judged this when it was just Gurazeni, and I was like, uh, I don't remember what I actually said, but my memory, uh, I I feel like I said something good, and then I saw people tweeting saying how good it was, and I feel like yeah, I, I do want to maybe get to this at some point. I could get to this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's baseball, but it's. Seems sort of like, you know, old man baseball, um, you know, something for us old, old yeah, dudes to yeah, watch. It's, yeah. not, it's, not a, it's not a sports show for the kids, <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, look, this, in this photo, there's money all over the mound, <laughs> right? What's up with that? Somewhere between, a, 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 you know, a baseball shounen uh, anime and, like, kaiji, somewhere in between there. That could be good. Right? Yeah, this, I feel like this is going to be good. So, but, yeah, it's got a second season, so someone's watching it. Uh, there we go. Inazuma 11. It's Inazuma 11. It's yep. a soccer anime for kids. If you like soccer and you like kids' anime. You want to watch 11 kids play soccer. Yeah, this is like a video game. It's been a TV series. It's, you know. There's almost no. Winning 11. There's no reason for anyone watching this looking for recommendations to watch this show. It's been, in, it's been in Japan mega popular for a long time. I feel like this will not take off in the US. No, we don't care about soccer enough. Ken and Ken. Uh, Aoki Ki Adaptation Kaya. of the Zhang Yuan sword role-playing game franchise. We should have like a... Every time we do the judging, we should put up like a little tally board. Oh, yeah. And How like, many oh, were... that's the 10th MMO this season. We, we pick like four categories and we change them every time. Like, I could add it in post, but it's too hard. How many I'm are... Lazy. How many are in MMO? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's MMO season now. I mean, this a, might be a JRPG. I if don't you know. like MMOs, Fall 2018 is just, you're, you're, you're in heaven. To be fair, I think this is just a straight up MMO, like not an MMO, just a straight up JRPG, uh, but I don't know. Whatever. Don't care either. Uh, they're the same as far, when it, when it, whether a JRPG or an MMO, be, it's a fantasy. Well, the gameplay is the becomes same. Becomes an anime, they, it's the same thing, right? All right. Bakutsuri Bar Hunter. Kid show. It is, I think, a kids' card game toy fighting show. Bakar, it's the bar rod item to fish for other bar souls. Yeah. So, you know, we haven't, I don't think there is a, um, you know, a buddy card, vanguard buddy fight, whatever. So this is that. <laughs> There's none of those this season. There's no Beyblades this season. <laughs> this is the one of those for this season. Use the fishing rod or whatever right, it is. This is to sell some collectible toy for little, you know, elementary school boys in Japan. And that one guy at the anime con in the gaming area. Right. Uh, and it's, so the, the Bakurotsi bar hunter, you know, it's, it's uh, like, oh, no one cares about us. They care about all the Pokemons and the Yu-Gi-Ohs and all those other things. Let's just come into a season where no one else has <laughs> an anime coming out. All right. Kira Kira Happy, Hirake Kokotama, the new series of focus on a new protagonist and a Kokotama god. This is La 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 Yay, the anime. Like pre-Kira. Yay! <laughs> colors, yay! Okay. No, we don't need to watch this. No one watching this needs to watch this. That one guy at the anime con. All right. We have successfully judged. I was about to say, another sword fart online. No, we're back. No, we're back to the beginning. Uh, we have successfully right. judged the fall 2018 season of anime. If we got any past judgments wrong or right or missed a show, let us know. Yep. If you know more information about any of the things we just judged in this episode, there's comments on YouTube down there. Yeah, click on that little you thingy. Can, you can comment on YouTube videos. That's the thing. Uh, comment like and subscribe. <laughs> we will be back in four months with the winter season of anime, which will hopefully have a lot less MMO RPG shows in it. Oh, and well, the the uh, so you don't have to do this in post. The star of the reviews, the star of this episode, Skeleton Honda. That's right. The skeleton in the bookstore is our anime to keep your empty eye socket on. <laughs> and the star for fall of 2018. The star of the show is. Seriously, more MMO shows? <laughs> <laughs>
Too many RPGs in fall 2018. <laughs> Japan, that's like so five years ago. Get your shit together. Yeah. <laughs>